Jersey Sports Zone caught up with the Boundbrook Crusaders during this year's preseason training camp. Last season, the Crusaders were the epitome of a successful underdog after doubling their wins from the season before and going 8-3. Well, the most important thing is to keep the attitude going throughout the uh, offseason and so that it carries over. Um, I think the guys know what it takes to, to win rather than just to show up. Um, so that's a big thing. We kept a lot of things similar that uh, worked last year and changed the things that didn't work. So we're hoping that all uh, works out for an even better season. Two words to best describe this team, leadership and intensity. Starting running back Joshua Ijogu and leading tackler and tight end Nigel Wilson believe it was the leadership of last year's team that took them to their conference championship. And this year, the intense leadership will bring them to a state. I just think that we need to keep the intensity and have more leaders on the field to help us uh, do better. Everybody with the black jerseys on the practice field try to make ourselves leaders and just push ourselves, step up and uh, take one for the team. We're definitely aiming for another conference championship. Um, hope we're, uh, playoffs, since we lost um, in se uh, sectionals, I think. We want to make it to the state championship this year. That's, a, that's our main goal. But team goals aren't the only thing these young athletes at Boundbrook are after. Coach Longo says he has high expectations for the brothers of his team. Senior wide receiver Joe Lapoitevin will have to lead by example, while junior quarterback David Lapoitevin takes over the QB position after being the team's leading wide receiver last year. My personal goal, uh, score my first uh, high school varsity touchdown and to just do the best I can, be the best leader that I can be, show that we could do what we did last year, but better, build off that. We got to keep the intensity in practice every day and we can't take any, more, any days off because we don't know how, like when our next, last day is going to be. And we got to, every, every other team's practicing as hard as we are, so we can't think that we're doing as good as we are. We got to just keep building and keep the intensity. Personally, I think that we're better than last year. It's all up to us to, for winning a state championship. Coach says the best part of his team is actually his offensive line and that they will be the reason why the Crusaders running game is going to be successful. In fact, offensive guard Kyle Fraunheim aims to be one of the best O-linemen in the state. I've been a starter here for, uh, it's going to be my fourth year. So, um, you know, I'm just looking to help other guys out that are freshmen or transferred in from another town or something else to help them be a better player and try to be a best leader I can be. I would like to be an All-State player, either on defense or offense, or both. The Crusaders' first game will take place on September 1st outside of the conference against Dinellon, whom they have not played since 2014. Stay tuned later this week for more Mid-State 38 football previews right here on Jersey Sports Zone.